Okay, Algebra 1, 5-4, Solving Compound Inequalities. The key word here is compound. In English, what are some compound words? Uh, yes, ma'am. Mailbox. mailbox. Dog house. Dog house. Dog house. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Newspaper. Newspaper. Rainbow. Rainbow. Rainbow, yes. Rain and bow. <laughs> I had to think about that one for just a second. Okay, so we have talked about uh, inequalities such as this where we take x and it's greater than or equal to 4 and we put it on a number line we put a closed circle above 4 and we draw an arrow to the right but could something be greater than 4 and less than 10 yeah. yeah there are numbers that are greater than 4 and less than 10 and we can think of examples of them but I'm taking two equations on their own putting them together rain bow all right I'm putting two words put them together to make one compound word I do the same thing with the equation I take X is greater than 4 I take X is less than 10 and I put them both on the exact same number line so it will look something like this okay I'm going from 4 to 10 I need you to have two numbers on either side of it I'm going to make this easy and I'm going to go by twos. Can we go by? You can go by ones if you want to. That's fine. I do, but since, see, I've got to be two on this side of this one and I've got to be two on that side of that one. So now I'm looking at two different numbers. It makes it a little different. So I find my smallest one and two to the left of four is going to be two and two to the right of ten is going to be twelve. So technically I'm still two spaces but beyond all right so what goes above the four anybody close circle close circle above the four and an arrow to the right I'm gonna draw a small arrow right now because you're gonna see something that's gonna happen here in a second and then above the ten I'm gonna have a what an open circle Shh, don't yell at me all right and my arrow is gonna go to the left okay so these are going to meet in the middle, which means every number in between here, including 4, but not including 10, is greater than 4 or equal to 4 and less than 10. Do you agree? Yeah. All of the numbers you thought when I made that statement, some of you said 5, some of you said 7, some of you said 8, they all fall in that range. That's all it's telling you. Okay, so let's take it another step. Okay, so now this one's just this one's just written a little bit differently, but I have to see it as two different inequalities. When I read this, it's negative two is less than or equal to x minus three, and it's also x minus three is less than four. So I split it up into two inequalities. Everything you do today will be two inequalities. Solve them and graph them. Okay, so first, in the negative two is less than or equal to x minus three. What do I need to do with that before I even get started? Emma, switch it around so the x is on the correct side. I shouldn't say that on the correct side. So x is on the side that we want it to be on. Okay. So now I have two equations. I want you to solve them and graph them. All right, Hunter, solve this one. What do we do? Got it? What do you come up with? Okay, x is greater than or equal to 1. Don't put it on a number line yet. Let's determine how big we need to make our number line first. So let's solve the second one. Jake, let's go on the second one. Add 3 to both sides. So x is less than 7. Okay, so now I know how big my line has to be. Okay, what's my smallest number on my line? Because I want to go 2 to negative, negative one. 1 to what? Nine. To 9. Okay, so I need to go negative 1 to 9. Wait, why 
Yeah, you take the smallest number, which is 1, and you go two spaces to the left of it. And then you take the biggest number, which is 7, and go two spaces to the right of it. Okay, so above my 1, what do I have? Close circle. Close circle. Arrow to the right. right. On my 7, I have a open circle, arrow to the left. Okay? Piece of cake. You're going to have two on each one. Solve them. Graph them. Now, some different looks. They might use the word and. They might use the word or. Okay? This is an and. That's a keyboard. That's a keyboard. That's still a keyboard. This is an and. It's greater than or equal to one and it's less than seven because they meet in the middle. All those things meet both the requirements. So on one that's an or, on an or, where do you think your arrows are going to go? Opposite directions. Okay. Again, I'm not going to deal with the, the solving of the equation. We can do that. I'm just giving you answers to look at. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, what's my number line need to be? Zero to, to nine. Zero to nine. Just go to ten. That's fine. It's absolutely not, um, not a problem. What's above the seven? Close circle, arrow to the right. What's above the two? Open circle, arrow to the left. That's an or, which means it's either that or that. Can't be both. You can't have a number that's less than two that's also greater than seven. It's impossible. Okay, give me a number that's less than two. One. Is that greater than seven? No. It'll never happen. Give me another number that's less than two. Zero. Is that greater than seven? No. Has to be an or. Can't be an and. Okay. Here's some other special ones. Special. Good special. Because you'll need to know the way they look. Okay. How about this one? Seems pretty simple. Okay. I, uh, it needs to go from 5 to 9. Obviously, above my 7, I'm going to have a what? Closed in circle. Here's the difference. X is greater than or equal to 7. Where's my arrow go? Both ways. To the right. Both ways. Greater. I'm just asking for the first one. <laughs> greater than or equal to 7, arrow to the right. Okay. I knew what you meant, but I just want to make sure we're saying it at the right time. X is less than or equal to 7, arrow which way? To the left. Well, that's a goofy looking graph. Tell me what that means. All real numbers. Every single real number is either greater than or equal to 7 or less than or equal to 7. It includes everything. Yes, ma'am. Stop. Okay. Every real number is covered. I'm a T. Stop. You're welcome. It is. You'll see it in just a minute. Okay. What's my dot this time? Or my circle? Open. Open. Which way does the arrow go? Unfilled. Who said unfilled? <laughs> Being critical. Okay, arrow to the right. And arrow to the left. Huh. All real numbers except No. But that's, that's the first thought. Now, I'm going to ask you to do this. Pick a real number. See if it meets that. 
the first thing to think is the first thing to think the first thing that students think is oh it's everything except seven okay great let's use the number 10 that would be a number that's this way right okay is 10 greater than seven yeah is it less than seven no. nope okay well it must be the other way it must be the other way okay five is five greater than seven no. nope is five less than seven no. yeah but it's not both there's not a single number that's both no. okay no solution all right yep won't be won't be I know I know exactly what your question is this is the third time I've gone through this lesson today I got gotcha. you it won't be they won't give you that one she's asking a question that some of you are probably thinking about and they won't give you that situation so that's why I don't spend time on it I knew what she wanted I just went somewhere else okay all right so you could have two answers okay or two numbers on your graph either pinched in or going outwards okay you could have no solution or you could have all real numbers so you've got a possibility of three different answers okay now these are the answers to these specific problems stupid keyboard there we go when you don't have one of those specific ones really when you don't have one of those real specific ones this is the answer you're done you don't have to tell me numbers that satisfy it all you got to do is graph it the only time that the graph is not your answer is when it's all real numbers or no solution okay all right 12 minutes 5-4 solving compound inequalities